So 23andMe, we started 23andMe about five years ago now. We really did it with, with two goals. One was to empower individuals to be able to get access to their own genetic information. And two was to be able to launch a whole new type of research that was really you know, community driven. So how can we enable a number of individuals who all have a common illness or a common interest to come together, share data about themselves, their phenotypic data, share their genetic data, and actually be able to use that for these large genome-wide association studies. And fundamentally, we think that we're going to be able to really transform by bringing these large communities together how we think about, you know, the genetic basis of disease. But I think something that will be important for physicians is the genetic basis of drug response. So really understanding how, why some individuals respond really well for, to, you know, to a TNF alpha, and some individuals do not. Some individuals, you know, require more warfarin. Some individuals require less. So why is that? Um, why is it that some people have, you know, sulfa uh, sensitivity and some individuals don't? So we really want to understand: is there a genetic basis of this? And if there is, how can we actually help you make practicing um, in treating these individuals easier? Easier because you're going to know that you're unlikely to have an adverse event or you're more likely to actually see a drug response. So I think that's, that's really at the heart of 23andMe is how do we actually empower individuals, um, communities, and how are we going to change healthcare so that you're going to be able to deliver more effective personalized medicine.